Hi guys and welcome to a new video on Byte Geek. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Sabrent Rocket NVMe 4.0 SSD drive. Uh, it's a one terabyte version and uh, we're just going to see how fast this thing goes. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so this is the uh, Sabrent Rocket NVMe 4.0 drive. Uh, it's a one terabyte version. So this is a Gen 4 PCIe drive. So there's actually two versions of this drive. Um, this is the one which uh, just has the sticker across the chips, but you can get uh, one which has got a big chunky uh, heat sink which runs the, the full length of the drive. Uh, there's a price difference of about 30 pounds, something like that. But my MSI B550A Pro motherboard comes with a heat sink for the slot. So well just get to unboxing this it's probably going to be the quickest unboxing uh, video uh, ever uh, in, in terms of a uh, review but uh, inside you just get this uh, small metal case uh, which is uh, quite nice kind of like a you know, bronzy gold color inside the case it's uh, just a instruction booklet and uh, this just the same booklet if you if you bought the ver version with uh, with the heatsink as you can see there that's the the uh, the heatsink it's quite a, a chunky heatsink that you get with it um, but as I mentioned earlier I've bought the version without um, the motherboard the B B five fifty A Pro uh, from MSI the primary uh, NVMe slot uh, comes with a heatsink. Uh, for it so not not as uh, not as beefy as this one but it's it's sufficient to be able to cool the uh, the drive itself so you know I'll be uh, using that instead and uh, you know the the instruction books just got details about the Acronis software that you can download and also uh, sector size converter as well uh, which you may need to do and uh, so you just got this little cover uh, over the drive itself and that's the uh, the drive uh, really quite tiny uh, compared to probably most of the components you've, you've got in your system um, you know smaller than a stick of RAM in fact and uh, you just got on the top you just got the uh, Sabrent uh, sticker which covers all the the main uh, chips that's that's really all all it is that's that's all you get you, you get no screws with this obviously the the intention is you use the screws that come with your motherboard um, but that's that's it that's all you get in the box so what we'll do now is we just get to the performance testing and we can see how fast this thing actually goes okay guys so I'm just in uh, disk management now and as you can see I've got a number of drives shown here and this particular one disk 5 is the Sabrent Rocket 4 NVMe drive uh, and this one here is the Samsung Evo 500 gig uh, SSD uh, so that's a SATA uh, SSD so just before we get into doing the actual performance testing I, I did actually run Crystal Disk Mark a little bit earlier on and uh, you can see here really impressive read and write speeds reported for the drive and um, yeah, really looking forward to see what uh, what happens when we do the the large file copy. So I've got some small files, which is just a bunch of uh, images, and I've got a large file, which is roughly around about 130 uh, gigabytes. Uh, so that's on the Samsung drive at the moment, and then on the C drive, which is the NVMe drive, uh, similar folders, but they are currently empty. So the small files, uh, each file is uh, just around about six meg uh, in size, and as a as a total, there's a number of files here, but as a total, there's about it's about five and a half uh, gigabytes. So what I'm going to do now is copy the uh, image files, the individual files from the Samsung drive, the SATA drive, through to the uh, Sabrent NVMe drive. And you can see how quickly that copied those. Um, I'm now going to copy the large file from uh, the Samsung drive 
to the NVMe drive. As you can see, this is going to take about four minutes um, to go through. So probably what I'll do is I'll actually speed up this clip a little bit. So the thing to note here is uh, a, you know, it's a very very consistent line. There's no dips when when um, transferring the data from one drive from the from the um, SATA SSD to the NVMe SSD, and the reason for this is you know we are literally uh, in terms of the output of the SATA drive, we're, we're literally hitting the, the limit as what, of what it's capable of uh, reading there. Um, obviously, in terms of writing to the NVMe drive, we're, we're nowhere near what that is capable of uh, doing. Uh, but I think it's quite interesting, you know, certainly you know, if you're copying from one technology to another uh, interface technology, then you, know, you, you can definitely see uh, the, the benefit here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to make a, a new folder on the NVMe drive, call it local copy. And I'm actually going to copy the small files uh, from uh, itself onto, onto this new folder. And uh, you can see how quickly you're know, copying NVMe uh, local copy, how quickly that goes through. It's quite impressive, quite a bit quicker than, than before. And uh, I'm going to repeat the process uh, again, um, this time with the large file copy. So this is the 130 gig uh, file. And uh, we'll, we'll copy that into this folder as well. And this is really where you, you actually see the performance. And you can see now, whereas before it was the megabits per second, now we are in the uh, gigabits per second and um, obviously now you've got a, a slight variation in the uh, the transfer speed as well so clearly you know the the NVMe drive in terms of write speed is uh, super quick and uh, I guess you know if you had one or two of these or uh, well, certainly if you you know you were you had a couple of these in your uh, system uh, and you were transferring data between them then you know it, it's um, you know it's going to be a very uh, high performing system but even you know if you've got stuff locally then uh, just on the on the one of them uh, it's going to be a very very quick system and uh, you know as you can see you know I think it was four minutes before to copy it from the, the SATA drive and uh, this is uh, going to complete that in in less than a minute so an awful lot quicker as, as the NVMe drive so what I'm going to do now, guys, just show you a, you know, a couple of slides with, with those um, file copies on so you can see the, the, the difference in the performance. So one of the other things that you know you hear a lot about with NVMe drives is uh, that how hot they get. And obviously, you know, at the start of this video, um, I, I talked about how you can get this particular uh, Subrint drive with a heatsink, uh, quite a beefy heatsink as well. And uh, obviously, you know, the MSI motherboard uh, that I'm, I'm using, the B550A Pro, this has a uh, NVMe slot uh, heatsink that comes as standard, uh, which I'm using on the uh, the drive itself. And so I thought it would be interesting to see what the temperatures were actually like. Uh, you know how much when you you're copying large you know volumes of data around, how much uh, you know it does actually affect the temperature. Uh, you know I think in in some 
forums you do actually see you know some some horror stories about people not being able to uh, maintain a stable system because of the temperature of their uh, NVMe drive you know as you can see this is this is copying the the large file uh, the 130 gig file I thought that's probably be the the best one to to try because that's going to keep the drive under a, a, a consistent uh, strain uh, whilst it's copying uh, as you can see the, the temperature has just crept up a little bit but you know we're not really stressing the drive out here this this has just ticked up a couple of degrees so far um, from from what it was when it was installed in the system so I'm not overly worried about that I think uh, you know something at, at this temperature is absolutely fine so I'm just going to speed up this clip a little bit just so uh, you know you don't have to sit there for the full uh, minute and a half that's remaining so as we come to the end there you can see that the drive temperature has gone up uh, seven degrees not a huge amount um, I'm not particularly worried about that um, so yeah that's the performance of the drive it's uh, it's extremely quick uh, you know you've um, definitely you know if you've got this uh, as your operating system drive which is what I have it as uh, you know booting into Windows is from from BIOS to, to Windows is, is just a couple of seconds it's really really quick obviously on a b550 platform if you have a second one of these in then you know you're going to lose a little bit of performance on the uh, on the second one i've got my applications operating system on this drive and and things really do fly uh you know i'm really quite impressed uh yes they are expensive they are a premium at the moment over uh sata ssds not by much but, but they are uh, a premium price it's interesting to see where this technology goes you know how much further they can push these i would imagine a higher higher performance higher density you're definitely going to need some kind of uh, heat sink cooling on this i think they will actually start to get quite warm uh, eventually what can i say you know the bottleneck now is is sata ssds okay so that just about wraps up the performance side of things very quick straightforward uh, couple of tests and obviously you know the the heat side of things but um you know hopefully that gives you you know a reasonable insight into how fast these drives actually run at what you know what the performance is like as i say you know this one uh, wasn't particularly expensive i got this on the amazon prime day uh, deal and um you know it is normally up around about the 180 190 pound mark i think i managed to pick this about 165 something like that so um yeah not not a bad price uh for uh, the performance gain on it but i'll drop a link down below in the uh, description guys if you're interested in this drive uh, they do a uh, pcie 3 uh, version of it as well which is you know quite a bit bit cheaper and um, you know obviously that's still going to be uh, quite a bit faster than your SATA SSD uh, at the moment so you know may well be worth the upgrade uh, if that's what you're looking at getting okay guys hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you did um, you know hit that like button and subscribe to the channel uh, any comments any questions you know uh, on on the drive just drop them uh, down below and I'll uh, try and answer them for you as best as possible but um, yeah thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next video bye for now